All right, here we go. You ready for it? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God! Okay! Today is going to be a very exciting day in Besiege, because one of these lucky individuals are going to be going to space. Look how excited they are. Now, before you can send an astronaut to space, you must train them. So we are in the G-Force trainer right now, and one of these lucky individuals is going to be uh, hopefully successful at this, because if not, we're screwed. Okay, so this guy looks most excited to join, so let's uh, just... Oh, okay, come on. Sorry about that. Th there you go. That's exactly how you're supposed to be on that thing. Uh, all right, so first guy, here we go. It looks... Well, he seems to be doing okay on there. Let's actually slow this down and appreciate how fast this guy is indeed going. He's actually, it's going so fast, he's not even on the grabber anymore. He's kind of just kind of lagging behind it. Seems to be a complete success for the first try, though, so... That's... Did he just... What? <laughs> Wait, is he there? Slow it down, there we go, let's... Um... Yeah, he's definitely not there anymore. Judging by the blood splatter, he is definitely over here somewhere. I have no idea where that guy went. Okay, so uh, first contestant was a complete failure. Our second contestant's going to be a sheep because, uh, I don't know, I feel like he'll be a little bit more aerodynamic. So there we go. That, that, that's beautiful. All right, here we go. Going with the sheep. Oh! Okay, sheeps don't work either. Well, this is definitely gonna be way more safe. We have a bomb here, and when we stick that on there, actually, that didn't explode, that's impressive. All right, so let's go for it. And just wait for it. All right, these guys seem to be really enjoying the show. They're not going to enjoy it when I press this button, though. Oh, never mind. They actually uh, are totally safe. But sorry about your homes. Jesus. Let me actually see what happens when I try and put a guy on here at full throttle. That should be fun. Okay, hold on, buddy. Next time around, it's your turn. It's your time to shine. Why is it not sticking? Is it too fast? All right, I've dropped him now, and it's just, it's just totally... Okay, I think he's probably dead at this point. Oh, God! <laughs> Oh, and that's a home run if I've ever seen one. Okay, we. Oh, oh, oh! I, I wanted to follow the peasants, but uh, it didn't want me to do that. Is, is that a peasant flying? That is the world's fastest peasant right now. Oh God. Okay, I have totally ruined everything once again. This is what happens when you try and connect to things that move really quickly. It's all up to this guy. Come on, buddy, you can do it. I, I, I believe in you, good sir. All right, full throttle. Here we go. He's looking good. He's. I can't tell where he is, but he's definitely looking good. And yeah, I'm gonna say that's a complete success for the G-Force experiment. You can see him there. He seems to be okay. Let's slow this down before he upchucks right in our face. Because uh, I, I do not want vomit in the face right now. All right, the Besieged Space Agency forgot to put a seat on this thing. So we're just going to uh, allow him to attach right there. And uh, let's go get our lucky astronaut. Because where we're going, no Besieged Peasant has gone before. All right, we're going to the freaking moon, buddy. There you go. Are you ready? I, th I think you are. All right, so here's our rocket, the Fafnir shuttle, and uh, it should be pretty easy here. We engage the rocket. I mean, the guy's done all the training he needs. He he spun around in a spinny thing, and he's good to go. So here we go to space, the final frontier. Oh, God, is it actually already? Okay, the actual weight of the peasant is screwing it up. Oh, no. Oh, my freaking God. Okay, yes, this is not good. And uh, yeah, well, that one's dead. So, we had to, uh, go back to the knights. We had, wait, there's only actually two peasants on this. I, uh, I thought there was way more than that. I never actually counted them. Uh, but yeah, we have two peasants on the rocket now. One sleeping. Don't do, ignore the blood on him. He's, he's, he's totally sleeping. And we have two knights on the other sides as well. My logic is, well, we need to balance the rocket out, so we need a human on each side. All right, so let's go. We're going to engage that rocket once again. This time, it's gonna be a complete success. I promise you guys that. Here we go to besiege space. Oh, this is amazing. Okay, so you can actually control the rock. Oh my god. Okay, okay, actually, it's not bad. Did I, did I lose my engine power? No, we're still going up, we're good. Uh, nope, we are not good. My engine seems to have shut off. This is, this is why we should test this out. Maybe, just maybe, can I land this thing? Oh god, okay, this is, this is, I'm going down way faster than I thought. Yep. That just happened again. Okay, sweet. 
So I think our astronaut friends were kind of breaking the jets on this thing, so uh, we're just going to pretend they're on the inside. They're on the inside of our hearts, at least. And uh, maybe they can't be astronauts after all, but they're just going to have to deal with it. So uh, looks like it's going good this time. There we go. And we... Oh, my God. Okay. I think we're officially in besieged space. Yep. It's cold up there. All right. Well, next stop, the moon. Oh, would you look at that? It's right there. Oh, God. This is pulling me in quite hard. Okay. We have made it, ladies and gentlemen, to the freaking moon. Would you look at it? It's amazing. Uh, yeah, didn't expect to crash into it. God damn, this thing's got some serious gravity on it, but yes! We have a moon in the game now with actual gravity. I mean, look at this bad boy. So yeah, uh, complete failure of a mission, but uh, still, we got a moon to play with, and that's what's most important right now anyways. You know, the, the whole rocket ship thing Complete failure. So I believe with this moon mod, as it's called, uh, we can totally destroy things. You can totally customize the moon to whatever you want. Anyways, if we go to customize this block, by the way, we can put it in as, in as many moons as we want. I'm gonna start with one. I wanna see if we can actually totally destroy this thing. So we're going to up the force to, eh, let's just go all the way. Why the hell not? I wanna see if this thing can be ripped apart. Uh, I don't know if it can actually do static blocks or not. We'll find out real quick. Ooh, is it pulling it? Oh, 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 it's pulling the gold! It's stealing everything! Okay, I thought it would actually destroy the rock, but no, it left the rock and everything else is going to the moon. I mean, that sounds like a good, pl oh God, Jesus. Okay, this thing is destroying my game. Uh, but yeah, safe to say, okay, did a pretty good job. It actually destroyed it a little bit just by things trying to get to the moon as quickly as possible. So yes. We now have gravity in this game. This is amazing, actually. And, uh, oh, okay, it, did, it didn't want its gold, I guess. It's throwing it back for some reason. <laughs> All right, watch out, castle, Jesus. The moon's attacking. I kinda like it. Let's, let's, okay, it's throwing it back now. Why does it keep throwing the gold? I'm not even doing anything. Is it bouncing back? Is the gold like a big old bouncy ball? All right, we gotta try it on the sandbox. There's just too much here to suck up not to enjoy this. Especially, I wonder if the bombs will work. Okay, so we're gonna slow this down a bit because I think bad things are gonna happen really quickly. And let's let her go. There we go. Oh, watch out, pots are coming. That pot just destroyed that whole freaking uh, tower there. That's impressive. Uh, but yeah, okay, there we go. So gravity does work. Look at this. Oh my God. Okay, so I wish it would take everything, but obviously uh, it doesn't work that way. But it does take a lot of the stuff. It looks like maybe once you break it, though, it looks like the stone does actually get affected by the gravity. All right, so that's pretty damn cool. We have gravity-based objects on that. Is this a... Uh, okay, yeah, that's definitely a moon man right there if you've ever seen one before. But yeah, gravity. It's a thing now, and that's really, really cool. Now, on top of that, we also have the gravity gun block, which basically is the moon, except in projectile form. So I put a few of these on here, and oh, crap. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So this mod just came out. I think this is going to be really exciting for the future of Besiege because gravity is very fun to play with, and uh, weaponized gravity is really, really fun. So yeah, I thought you guys would enjoy seeing that. Let's throw out a few of these things here, and, uh, well, it's gonna impact itself more than anything else, but I got so many. You can just keep spawning them in. Yes, come to me! Why is that the one thing that came? Why is there nothing else? Okay, okay, maybe I spawned in a little too many. That's probably why. Oh, they're gone now. So yeah, they randomly go away after a while. They're just like a puff of gravity. It's great. Now, you can totally tune these things. I only had the force on one. Let's, uh, let's up this force to five. Jesus. Um, maximum radius, sure, let's max that out because that's fun. Lifetime, I want to make these things go for a long time. You can even change the color of the thing if you want. And speed, sure, we'll max that out too because that sounds fun. All right, here we go. You ready for it? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, God, <laughs> okay. Well, that's what's so fun about parameters. All right, let's throw a few more out. There we go, it's like a black hole of besiege right now. This is great. The actual main block is even come. I've never seen that before. Is, is there gonna be like a castle at the end of this? Like, look at this. Okay, I'm gonna tr stop trying to zoom into things because it never actually works. Where is everything right now? Oh, it's falling out of the sky. So they, they must have despawned. Let's try it again. I spawned them in. They gotta be going somewhere. There they come. All right, come on over. Yeah, that's, <laughs> this is really fun. Okay, so yeah, we don't have any creations really to play with these yet. 
but uh, it's safe to say these are going to be really, really fun. All right, and stepping away from the besieged space agency, I thought we would check out one of the coolest damn walkers I've ever seen. Is it a walker? I mean, it's technically a boater if you really think about it, but it is a water walker. So yes, this thing plays Jesus for us, and it can actually... Oh, okay, oh my god, are you, are you okay? God, it looks like a dog when it can't swim or, like, freaks out, but there we go. It is actually doing it. Now, let's speed it up a little bit. There we... This is amazing to look at. Look at it! It is actually, like you can see, it's basically swimming. It's, it's, it's not really a walker, it's a swimmer. Okay, but I just love this design. It's like a derpy frog thing. I, what, what's going on with its mouth? I guess that's to balance it, probably. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's actually try and churn this thing, see if we can... Oh, yeah, totally just churn in the water. God, this thing is the coolest. And, of course, in besieged fashion, it's weaponized. All right, so, of course, we got to try these things out. Now, uh, I don't know how accurate they are. I've never shot them before, but let's give it a shot. All right, but let's go see if we can maybe take down one of the statues here. I want to actually see the distance on these things. Let's just shoot one off. Ooh. Ooh, I like it. It's like a torpedo. Not really, actually. It just went up to space. All right, well, I definitely don't think we have the distance to go that high in the air, so we're going to go for the typical tower here, see if we can maybe hit it. If we get really lucky, this thing's a little bit wobbly, so... Not gonna be the most accurate of shots, but there we go. Going in for a direct hit. Ah, oh, I thought we were good. All right, let's see if we could do this again. Oh, oh, see the problem is like, there's no way you can accurately do that. There we go though. Almost missed it there, but I think we blew it up on the rock and it took out the tower with it. So yeah, uh, I gotta say not the most accurate of shots, but I mean, look at those friggin' eyeballs. Nobody can be that accurate when your pupils are looking in direct opposite directions. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to work for it. Let's see what happens when we actually hit hard ground here. Can we just, like, get out of the water and be absolutely horrifying? Because that would be really cool if that's the case. All right, he actually doesn't need much water. I thought we would actually hit that part, but no, he, he just swam right over it. But here we go. Going to go climb the mountain here. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so he's not so good out of water. Jesus Christ. Relax, buddy. It's okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this one. I gotta say, this is one of the most unique designs I've ever seen, though. We need more water walkers, or water swimmers. I don't know what we should call these at this point, because I have no idea what this thing even is. Still, really, really cool. And I bet you thought that was the only creepy animal of the sea you would see today, but no, we got another one here. Check out the look of this guy. This is amazing. So, uh, yeah, let's just engage it and check out how it moves underwater. Oh... My god, I love it. We need more, like, horrifying creations in Besiege like this, because I just want Subnautica in Besiege now, basically. I mean, this is pretty accurate to, to Subnautica, actually. But, but yeah, this is like, I don't, I don't even know what this thing is. It's like a squid meets a stingray or something. I gotta say, there's something really creepy about this one. I think it's just the whole movement of the whole creation. It's got, like, a backbone that you actually have to bend to move it around and whatnot. And it is very easy to, uh, actually swim with this thing. Yeah, I guess it would be swimming. Yeah, it doesn't do, do much else but this, but it doesn't need to. I, I would run away from this thing the moment I saw it. It's actually got cannons on the front just for looks. I love the look of this thing. And check out those eyes. Watch this. When I actually lean to one way or another, it actually moves its eyes slightly too, as an animal would. And it just it makes it a little bit more creepy. I love the look of this thing. Definitely one of the coolest creations I've seen in terms of looks in a long time. And, uh, yeah, try not to have any nightmares when you're looking at that. All right, and I thought we'd end off with one that's not so creepy. We got, of course, a beautiful sea turtle here, something to end off nicely. He's not very fast, though, as you can see. Uh, I mean, to be fair, he's a turtle. What, what the hell am I saying? Of course he's not fast, but, uh, yeah, I gotta say, I mean, check out it from the bottom. You can really appreciate the mechanics in something like this when you look at it from the bottom. I mean, he's using all this shell for all these different types of cogs. Love this design, and uh, yeah, very easy to use. Basically, it's three buttons. You power forward, and you can turn left and right, and uh, that's pretty much it. There's also a sinking button if you want to kill it. All right, guys, but on that, I think we're going to wrap up this episode of Besiege here. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out this one. We saw the Besiege Space Agency in all of its glory, as well as we have some gravity now. Saw some creepy uh, sea monsters, as well as a cute sea turtle. As always, if you do want to check out any of these creations, the link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.